90 years is faith in the doctor and the medication. All right. I'll talk to you. And it's strange to me that we have faith in the doctor and the medication, but we don't have faith in our own pastor. So some folks about to slip and slide behind pastors back, taking medication that they cannot afford, living in agony, going through pain, experiencing grief, don't know what they're going to do next, and then they're like, well, I'm just making it. Well, you should just make it. All right. All right. If you're not going to follow the Bible's procedure for healing, you should be just making it. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that. Come on. Yeah. You can't use man's way All right. in order for God to work. Amen. You got to use God's way in order for God to work. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something so stupid. This is just crazy. This just don't make any sense. I'm going to tell you something real stupid, okay? Can I tell it to you? Come on. Moses and the children of Israel is standing in front of the Red Sea with water so deep that they cannot get across. Pharaoh's army is behind them, chasing them. When they catch them, they're going to kill them. They're going to imprison them. They're going to bind, uh, bind them. But the Lord tells Moses, stand still All right. and see. All right. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing, but just watch me. If you watch me work, I'll tell you what to do. Now, 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 now Moses, watch this. Stretch out thy rod. All right. Come on. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Now, I said nothing to me. I said, ain't that crazy? Of us gonna stand. Mm. I mean, we run from creditors. You know, we're gonna run from somebody trying to kill us. All right. I'm sorry. Let me. Lord, tell me, Ananias, you go, you go, you go, you go to Straight Street, you go to the house of Judas, and you lay your human hands. Come on. You lay your human hands. Uh. You lay your human. Now, now listen, listen. Paul didn't have to pay for this. All right. I should go. Uh. Because some of y'all only think that you get what you pay for. All right. So you only get a blessing if you pay for a blessing. You know how you do. Well, not y'all. You know, we got friends who still sending money into TV stations. Don't know if the person they send it to be in it or not. All right. You, you know what I'm saying. Oh, no. Paul did not have to pay for anything. Ananias calls to the house. He's concerned because of Paul's reputation of being a persecutor of the disciples of Jesus Christ. But he goes anyway because he's obedient to the law. Right. And that's what you should always be is obedient to the law. But in order to be obedient to the law, you first got to hear the Lord talk. All in right. order to hear the Lord talk, you have to have a heart that's open to the Christ. Well, Verse 17 says, Ananias. Ananias went on his way, entered into the house, putting his hands on Paul, and he said, Brother Saul. Now, that becomes significant because ever since there's been a church, we have been calling one another brothers and sisters. All right. Let me help somebody. Come oh. on. There are no Mr. or Mrs. In the, in the family of the Lord. Amen. Can I tell you that? Amen. So if. Let me see. Man. Ain't none of y'all old enough. Sorry. I was trying to find somebody old enough to be my mother or father and explain it to you. But ain't none of y'all old. Now, 
Right. No matter how old a person is, all right. The relationship in the Christian family is first. The Bible says that we are to treat elder women as mothers. All right. And treat elder men as fathers. All right. That means there's no Mr. and Mrs. Can I help you here? All right. When, the, when, when Jesus' family came to him while he was in the midst of teaching, dialoguing the word of God, they said, Lord, your mother, your brother, and your sisters are here. And Jesus said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? He that doeth the will of my father is my mother, my brother, and my sister. All right. Which means in the family of Christianity, of which Mount Moriah is the part, All right. everybody is brothers and sisters. All right. Can I tell you that? Amen. And you can call the elder women mother, which I do all the time, out of respect them because I understand their eldership. All right. All right. But ain't no mystery. Well, that's a so he calls him Brother Saul to show that Paul now has a relationship in the family of Christ. So All right. he calls him Brother Saul. All right. Yeah. Brother Saul, the Lord has appeared unto you in the way that you were coming. And he has sent me that thou mightest receive thy eyesight. Because that's all he was lacking, right? All right. Blindness and back, right? That's all he needs his eyes, right? Come on, talk to me, somebody. Because we walk by sight, not by faith. Huh? You mean I said it wrong? All he needs is eyesight, right? But Adam and I said, that you might receive your sight and the Holy Ghost. I can go now. Come on, come on. Because brothers and sisters, I don't know what church a lot of us come out of. All right. But the church I came out of. All right. You had to have the Holy Ghost. All right. And if you didn't have the Holy Ghost, you had to understand that if you went to God in prayer and asked the Lord to let you feel the presence of the Holy Ghost, that God will answer prayer. All right. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. I, I think I'll tell you, in order to be completely changed, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Do I have it with the chair? Amen. I Verse 18 says that after Ananias laid hands on Paul, that scales fell from his eyes, and he received the sight. And because he now had the Holy Ghost, he went to the water to be baptized. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. That's what I want to tell you. Whenever you've been regenerated and born again, Yeah. Yeah. So let me leave you now, when I tell you all 